Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan91's Garage. In this episode, we're gonna do a bit of a quick tech on the onboard diagnostics that are available on the Starlet EP91. All you need is an open dark paper clip. So without further ado, let's dive straight in, jam this in some holes. So if the check engine light comes on while you're out driving, what happens is the Toyota ECU will store the fault code so you can review it later and find out what's wrong. It's quite a simple process. So once the engine's been warmed up and is up to temperature, we need to pop over here to the diagnostic port. So if we open up the diagnostic port, if you look inside, there's a legend that tells you what each of these electrical connectors does. And what you need to connect is the TE1 connector to the E1 connector. And that is in this block of six here, it's the central connector, it needs to connect to the top right connector. I'll put up a picture now to show you what it looks like. And my favorite method of doing this is an opened out paper clip. Obviously bare metal, you don't want with plastic or paint on the outside. So E1, and TE1, so we just wiggle him in there. Make sure you get him in there good. And now we've bridged, as I said, the center on the middle row to the top right on the most forward row. So now, pop round into the captain's seat. Key in, and then you need to turn it to the on position, which is the second click and then you should see the check engine light blink if there are any codes. You can see that mine's flashing constantly, which means there's no registered codes or no stored codes in the ECU. If you do have any codes, what it'll do is it'll flash in a certain sequence, so you'll get perhaps two flashes, then a pause, then one flash, and that means code 21. And then if there's more codes than that, you'll then get a pause, and then it will flash a different code and then it will repeat through those codes. I'll now put up a table that shows what all those codes mean. We're going to switch the ignition off and then go and retrieve our paper clip. So once you've diagnosed your problem and replaced the component or fixed the wire that's damaged, you then need to reset the codes in the ECU so you know that there's no more faults in the car that aren't regenerating, for example. So there's a few ways you can do that. You can either pull out the 15 amp EFI fuse in the fuse box, leave that out for about 30 seconds. I don't usually like messing with old fuse boxes just in case something goes wrong, so I usually leave that alone. And then I disconnect the negative terminal on the battery for about a minute. What you do have to be careful of, obviously, not only will that reset the codes in the ECU, but it will also reset any codes, like security codes that the radio has. But those are the two ways of doing it. Plug it back in or connect it back up and you'll be ready to go. Then once you've been out for a test drive, double check you don't have any codes anymore to ensure that you've fixed the problem. That's it for this quick tech. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon.